So welcome all. Today we are learning something about uh, LR parsers. Mm. So let me start with uh, how uh, augmented grammar looks like. Then uh, with this augmented grammar, we will try to understand what is closure and uh, go-to functions, which will be used in your uh, LR uh, parsing uh, algorithm. Okay. So for now. Let me tell you about uh, what is a augmented grammar, right? So in a augmented grammar, basically you will have augmented production. That is the only thing which will uh, make a grammar augmented. Suppose you have a grammar like uh, S derives A A and something like A derives something. Okay. So for this grammar, you will have uh, augmented grammar, which will be like uh, S dash gives S and rest of the things. S gives. A, A and uh, A gives the remaining thing. Okay. So, this grammar in which you have one extra this thing production. This production uh, is called, I should say, augmented production. right so a grammar having this augmented production will be called as a augmented grammar okay i should say suppose it is g dash so this is a very simple thing about augmented grammar. One more thing that we have to understand is uh, LR0 items. Okay. LR0 items. Basically, suppose you have S gives AA. It was like that. Now, here. Uh, other thing was A gives um, something A A or B, right? So now uh, here in this case, let me put a dot somewhere, right? I am going to put a dot somewhere. So where should I put a dot? Suppose I am putting a dot here. So it is a LR, LR zero item. Okay, I am putting a dot here. Okay, okay, okay. Initially, in a grammar, you you should understand that dots are like this. In, in this is not the only LR zero item. Wherever this dot can be, S can be. After uh, you will see now that once we have uh, got A, then what will happen? Dot will move further. So now it is A dot A. It is showing that uh, A has already matched in the input string, right? So this is also a um, LR zero item. LR zero item can be like A dot sorry A A dot, you know? This is a uh, LR zero item. Since this is a final uh, uh, production, I should say, uh, where this particular dot comes in last, right? If it is going in last, it means uh, all of the um, symbols in the string have been uh, perfectly matched, right? So, this production can be called as uh, a reduced production, okay? So, it is a reduced production. Uh, or it can be also called a final 
production or uh, completed production so in different book different ways completed hai na so this is something about lr0 item that uh, this was a simple production where we didn't have a dot but now you are keeping a dot this production is now being called as item so this dot can be in beginning in between or in last okay so wherever it is it is called a production however when it goes in last it can be called as a reduced production or final production or completed production having known these things about uh, augmented grammar as well as lr0 item now we are ready to understand something about uh, a closer function okay so i remember you uh, have studied something about first and follow in your previous uh, videos about uh, um, recursive descent parser and non recursive descent parser right now uh, we are going to see something about a closer function which will be helpful in uh, this lr parsing so for finding closer uh, you give as input some production i should say item huh? suppose you are giving item i so what this uh, function will do it will do uh, these following things right first of all uh, it will uh, add this item i in the list of closer okay it will add the item i in closer of i okay no issues the next thing it will do it will uh, see the item suppose if uh, alpha derives dot beta b okay okay let me say beta in last huh? b beta yeah. so b i think we remember the notation where b is a variable and this beta means any combination of a terminal and non terminal so suppose this b is a non terminal hai yeah, na so alpha derives uh, dot b beta this is an item hai yeah, na uh, this is uh, an item i hai na mm and what about b at the same time and this b derives something suppose a hmm in the grammar right in such case what we are going to do we will add this thing we will add okay if this is the case then add b derives a a put a dot here b derives dot a a in closer of i no problem so now what we are going to do here say alpha and if this was the item you saw the dot is here so whatever it is after dot it was a variable b so you found is there any production for b there in the grammar or not it would be something like this so whatever the uh, production is you will add that production making an item right put a dot in front of the um right hand side right and put this item in the uh, closer of i now you have to uh, repeat this thing hai na uh, suppose this is something which has been newly added so 
repeat this procedure for the newly added right if this is a symbol this is a terminal no problem if at all it would have been a non terminal then you will again find something uh, uh, production related to it let me write it that the third thing is you will have to repeat this second step uh, repeat the step 2 for each newly added production okay so in this way you can find closure of any item so basically what happens for a given grammar if we consider an example let me have an example here so what happens uh, in the last example this was the example you can see s gives a dot a a a gives something right so let me start with um, i want to find the closure of closer of a production the production is s gives uh, something where i am i am at a dot a at this place so now what will happen dot is here we will have to consider this thing that dot is here in that case what will happen we will uh, do first thing first thing is we will add this item to the closer right so what are in the closer the first uh, production is the same thing s gives a dot a is there anything else that we want to add this is the production and after dot there is a variable non terminal a so we will try to see what happens to a and for a we have this thing this production as well as this production right so we will have to add these two productions here uh, a derives dot a a as well as the third production will be a derives dot b okay so that is something now in this case um, uh, then so whatever the new um, productions have been added we have to find the closure of them also right you know? so it means this thing repeating this thing is finding closure so uh, here we can see there is uh, a terminal so it is not going to derive here also it is a terminal so it is not going to derive so this is something uh, which we will, we will go get in the closure of given production right so this is the way we find the uh, closure of a given production now we are moving towards uh, suppose uh, go to function okay one function we have we call it go to okay here actually we give uh, two informations i can say as uh, one is i and x okay so i is your item and x is something uh, i should say the terminal or a symbol okay let us consider as symbol so what will happen given a production given this item i and uh, this symbol what uh, will happen next this is what we are trying to find so given a production uh, we have just to move the dot after this uh, x this is something like we have to understand that x has occurred x x we have already matched the x in the given string right 
So the first thing that here we will do is we will move the dot. Move the dot. Let me write it dot. Hmm. Just uh, after x. Uh, so that it would show that uh, x has occurred, right? And uh, then you have to find the closure again, right? What you will do, you will find the closure of the result. Okay, which result? Result in the step one. Result in step one. Okay. So, suppose you have an example where uh, you are asked, where should I write? Example is like this. Find the go to of a given item. Suppose uh, S dash gives S. Anna? So, since it is an item, dot is here. And what will happen if S is encountered? Right? So, you will have to move the dot further and then find the closure. So, what you will return here is you will return something uh, like closure of hmm, closure of just moving the dot further. S dash S dot. Right? Very simple. This is what you are going to do. So, till now we have seen what is augmented grammar. We have seen what are LR0 items. We have seen closure function as well as go to function. Now we are ready to see something about uh, the LR0 uh, parsing table construction and LR. Uh, parsing algorithm actually this lr parsing algorithm that we will see it will be same for other uh, lr parsers maybe it is lr0 slr clr or llr so for now uh, the next thing that we are uh, going to see is lr0 parsing table construction let us see uh, this in the next video okay for now thank you